God damn it. <clears throat> well, at least there was a checkpoint. There, I made it. Oh god, they're following me! Get the fuck out of here. They stopped following me now. Holy shit. Oh, this door actually opened. I didn't think it would. Huh. Today was something truly surprising. He was one of the last groups of test subjects. Just another patient I expected to babble and maybe even die. Patient 105. Leslie Withers. Reuben had singled him out as a useless subject, but he must have known. He knew I would read his notes. What else was Reuben lying to me about? But this Leslie, he emerged cognate, calm, and able to report fully what he had experienced inside. His unique pathology allowed him to successfully navigate his STEM experience with little repercussion. They know nothing of his existence, but no doubt he is the key. If we all share the consciousness, then with him, Oops. I too should be able to experience the stem, potentially even suppress the more unsavory aspects of it. Yeah, or so he thought. With him, I can be the master of the very mm -hmm. technology I helped create. Mobius will see my worth. And let me rise even higher in their ranks. So what? So this is what Jimenez was saying. He thought that with Leslie, he basically found patient zero, someone who could work with STEM and remain unharmed. He couldn't stop the crazy-ass hallucinations around him, but he could walk through them and not be injured. And so he was going to use Leslie as the test subject to try to use STEM, but unfortunately it didn't work out that way. Interesting. <clears throat> Right, I guess we gotta jump down here. Yep. Okay, we're gonna re-interact re with Sebastian here. Yeah, I remember this. Oh no, this is Joseph. Joseph. Okay. You're all right. You too, thank God. Any sign of Sebastian? Nothing. Maybe we can go back and look for him. No. I mean, let's just get out of here first, then we can worry about Sebastian. Can we open this gate? I doubt you and I are strong enough. <laughs> oh boy. Joseph, watch yourself. I'll be fine. Quick, look around, see if there's another way out. Look for another way out, right here. We probably don't have much time. Look around for some way out of here. I know there's on the wall, I just want to see. Nah. Wait a minute, there's an item here. Look. Huh. Music. Yep, a new musical track unlocked. Hidden here. Okay. <clears throat> we probably don't have much time. We go around for some way out. It's a door! Never would have suspected. <laughs> oh, save point. I'm thinking we got to be nearing the end of the DLC at this point, so probably the final save point before you hit the, the final arc here. Okay. Oh, stand up. What are you doing? Sebastian. <clears throat> it's over 
here. Aha! Probably another chest. Aha! A star. Can I move these? Oh. This is interesting. I got to figure out how to do this. <clears throat> Damn, I don't remember what the symbol looks like. Hold on. I have it in my arc. Oh, there it is. So it's a full star. See that? A full star and two little stars. So one of these is going to do a full star. This might be it. Ah. Aha. Aha. Log. We've refocused the efforts of the other programs to support our research. STEM priority has seemingly overridden other departments' individual research. Chemical and botanical studies are focused now on temporary, priming subjects for their inevitable connection. Now that the prototype is up and running, experiments continue. Upon their return from STEM integration, patients are interviewed extensively. While their particular pathologies inform their experiences, there are commonalities. They all experience the same settings, the same occurrences. The world they inhabit becomes larger with every new visitor. Hmm. This suggests that shards of each user's consciousness are left behind inside the stem, creating a community. It's as if internally a new world is being built. Right, so everyone who goes into his new stem is creating some kind of a weird subconscious world. Pretty wild. Okay, that was cool. We found a hidden log. Alright, this way. Losing focus, kid. I warned you about that. Huh. How could this place exist? I don't understand. <clears throat> What's happening in here? Ruvik knows you're here. He's feeding off you. But there are more important problems. That detective. Joseph isn't something to worry about. He doesn't suspect anything. He's expendable. How else do you want me to say it? Remove him. No, he wants That's him dead. Huh. Killing Joseph? That's not going to help me find Leslie. He can't be trusted. He'll turn on you. They all will, once they know what you're after. We told you. You're weak, kid. And, and that's what she's afraid of. Us. She's afraid of being weak and being, disappointing her people around her. Yep. Are you guys all right? Mm -hmm. We're all right. Sebastian. Maybe we can lift this enough for Kidman to go under and open it from the other side. We're counting on you. Hmm. It's odd, though. Why would they catch you instead of just killing you? Maybe he didn't see me as a threat. He. Yeah, see, she's not affected like they are. She had the stuff put into her. <laughs> 
Oh yeah, he turned. I know who you are. Whoa. I'm not going to let you take him. You should have followed your orders, kid. What the shit? He know about it. Again, no gun. Whoa. What the? Oh great, more sneaking. Ooh. That's an axe. You're the one that brought us here. I'll kill you for that. I gotta stealth attack him. Yeah, he was controlled, remember? And during the course of the main campaign, he gets controlled by the, the, the insanity of this place, basically, and he turns into a zombie. <laughs> Show yourself. Come and kill me if you can. <laughs> oh, good. Well, I didn't know that was going to happen. I didn't know that's what it did. That sucked. You couldn't have gone far. <laughs> I found you. <laughs> what? You couldn't have gone far. There the you are. Oh my god, this is stupid. <laughs> Oh my, it's, this fucking sucks, dude. This is terrible. I can't run. <laughs> you couldn't have gone far. Oh my god, so fucking tedious. <laughs> now he sees me! You Fuck this. <laughs> Just kill me, it sucks! He missed! She has an axe! Just fucking hit him with the stupid fucking axe! You couldn't have gone far. Trash. <laughs> she got her health back. <clears throat> Here, I'll kill you for that. Ugh. Any day. <laughs> Finally. Oh, fuck you, Kidman. Now what? I have no weapon. I can keep using it, maybe. <laughs> you can't hide. 
You couldn't have gone far. Oh my god. Are you serious? This is terrible. <laughs> I have no weapon. I can't attack him. What am I supposed to do now? <laughs> There's another axe sticking out of the bed that wasn't there before. Oh my god. Don't be a coward. Come out, damn it. This is pretty terrible. <laughs> this is pretty terrible. Oh my god, it's taking too fucking long! Just come out and die! Look at this. <laughs> He's not coming back. Don't run! Just let me get a clean shot. Couldn't have gone far. Where is he? Fuck is he? Oh my god! You're the one that brought us here. I'll kill you for that. Another axe. Motherfucker. Where the fuck is he now? Yourself, damn it! I'm not gonna make that mistake again. Found you. Get him! What? He's right there! Can't attack him! This fucking blows. This DLC was fucking great story exposition, horrendous fucking gameplay. The entire fucking time has been terrible. I don't want to do this anymore. Huh. <laughs> Oh my god! Fuck this! I don't want to do this anymore. You I just want this to end. Far. Don't ah. run. Just let He's just gonna stand there shot. looking back and forth. How am I ever supposed to get him? You couldn't have gone. Kill you, Kidman. 
<laughs> Don't run. What the fuck, Just dude? How does he magically know I'm there and run straight towards me? I just want this to end. I don't want to do this anymore. Look. This is crap. Under a bed. Crap. Uh, <laughs> why? Don't be a coward. Come out, damn it. <laughs> Found you. What? How did you see me? How the fuck did he see me? Have gone far. What? Uh. I'm gonna go to sleep. Yourself, damn it! If I come, you know, if I step out, he's gonna be right there and see me. I know all about you, kid. I know who you are. Can you please finish this now? No, it's still going. Finally! Holy shit. Why are you making me do this? Damn it, Joseph! You should have just stayed out of the way! Are there sins you are ashamed of? Whoa. Now we're fast forwarding again to another part of the game. Well, another part of the original game. Thank God we're past that part. Fuck, man. Oof. That was insanely monotonously annoying to get through. Where the fuck are we? A house. Wait a second. This house. No, it can't be. Uh oh, why can't it be? Let's see what she's talking about. <laughs> <laughs> 